If you are in the Dragon Ball culture, and I mean like really in the Dragon Ball culture, then you definitely know about the fan pairing of Piccolo and Pants Teacher, whose name is Ms. Janet. And I mean, the fandom went wild with this one because they were shipping Piccolo and her throughout the entirety of 2022. And these two had like the most minimalistic interactions. It was just Piccolo picking Pan up from school basically both times. The second time she didn't really know it was him until later on. But that didn't stop the entirety of the fandom from going wild and making these two the newest Dragon Ball couple and for me I'm 100% on board. I think that it is cute to give Piccolo somebody like that and I think Miss Janet is actually really adorable. But there is only one hiccup that a lot of the fans seem to have when it comes to this pairing and that is Piccolo's Johnson. Yes, the fans are under the illusion that Piccolo is a plant or at least has no genitalia whatsoever he only drinks water he doesn't eat any food and he can't have any intimacy with anybody because he doesn't have the appropriate hardware now i'll tell you here right now if ted taught me anything you don't need to have your own benedict cumberbatch to be able to have a good time with a lady so i really don't think that it is fair to place this on piccolo and have it be like oh you can't have him shipped with anybody because he doesn't have the the hardware but that's the question does he have the hardware or not a lot of people have been saying that he does not have the hardware and right now you're about to find out the truth behind it because the creator himself also prophesized and told us all in an interview exactly what is going on with piccolo's situation down under <laughs> If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. If you enjoyed the content, hit that like button, you guys. It really helps out the channel. July 2006. I was 16 years old when this interview was conducted, and it was conducted for Shonen Jump. And it was actually a very small interview, like there really isn't much here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to the interview itself in the description below. Go ahead and check it out, guys. But the last question, of course, you gotta get Toriyama on the last question. And this is, these interviews are gold right now because this dude's not doing interviews like, like these he's not really doing them like that anymore so uh yeah akira toriyama these are his words here and so the last question that the that the guy got him on was several readers have asked if namekians are plants of course based on their names they seem to be slugs but they are green they have a strange method of reproduction and they live on water which yes the namekians do birth through seemingly their mouth and there's a difference in their reproduction 110 percent especially when you look at like humans or saiyans or even other creatures in the universe that are in the dragon ball universe okay so these are his words that's a tough question i thought of piccolo first and i wanted to draw him as a scary character and it was only afterwards that i had to come up with his species which completely makes sense i mean demon king piccolo looks like a demon and has demon in his name so he was just trying to do like an adversary for goku or the the preliminary z squad since they have antenna and i thought they looked like slugs so namekian is a play on words but I didn't think too deeply about it. He didn't really think too deeply on the fact that they were slugs. The word for slug in Japanese is Namekuji. So it's very similar to it and makes sense because one of the movies has a character that is Namekian that's called Lord Slug. So the metaphors and the, the description of slugs definitely are something that are really real in Dragon Ball when it comes to Namekians, but it's not something that Toriyama really even thought about. But here's the last line. I don't think they're plants but they may be hermaphrodites. So Toriyama says he doesn't know if they're plants or not, which, I mean, he's saying that they're not. He's saying that they're not slugs. Um, they just kind of look like slugs. And now he's saying that they are hermaphrodites. And if you don't know what hermaphrodite is, well, it is a species that has both female and male genitalia. It's whatever pops up 
for whatever situation. It's almost like having like a Swiss Army knife. They can do whatever and they can go both ways. Now I saw this post and I can't really confirm it, but he's saying that there is another interview by Takeo Koyama that confirms that Namekians are hermaphrodite male. This may mean that just like snails and slugs, male genitalia organs mature before the female genitalia organs and that's why their physical appearance is more male. Which this one you don't really have to delve too deeply into because of the fact that almost every single Namekian that we've ever seen is a male. So I mean yeah this one goes without saying. The rest of the post says it was also confirmed that Namekians indeed could have sexual congress. Also they wear pants to hide the male part of their body. So yes Namekians must have a penis of sorts and their female reproductive organs are somewhere in their throats and upper side of their chest since they lay eggs through the mouth. I let you imagine how sexual congress between the Namekians works. The location of the female reproductive organs could also mean that kissing, if Namekians are into that, is possibly a much more intimate thing than for regular human Saiyans half Saiyans. Now he's saying that he's got proof of this. I just think it comes off of the species, like the way you see Piccolo and the Namekians, like it just makes sense. They're all males. I mean, they can they can reproduce through their throat. So having female organs somewhere in their chest or whatever, that also kind of checks out. The fact that they wear pants, you know, to hide their male genitalia also checks out. And Toriyama says they're hermaphrodites. So just by all this information, including Toriyama's testimony, then yeah, Piccolo could definitely have a more mature relationship with Ms. Janet if he really wanted to. <laughs> And that just answers that question. So no, they're not plants and they're not asexual or have no way of reproducing in the normal way. They can actually do whatever they want because they're engineered for both male and female reproduction. The more you know. Subscribe for more content. Oh,